All right, so today I want to talk about fetching web pages with the fetch tool here in Claude. I've got this loaded up. Basically allows you to take something like a link here, like to this documentation and paste it in and then ask for something like summarize this. And when I run that here, it'll go out, fetch the page there, get the contents back, and then it'll summarize that contents. Right, so I get a prompt here to allow for this chat. I'll do that with fetch. It's pretty safe just to read multiple pages. So I'll allow it to use that tool over and over and over in this chat session, though it looks like it only used it one time here for this page. And so now it's gone out, it grabbed the page contents. The page contents here are transformed into a textual version. You can see that right here in the output of the tool. So here's the fetch URL. And then this is what it got back here. You can see this matches here over on the right hand side. So the text is extracted. Hopefully it looks good enough and is easy enough for Claude to understand that Claude could then go through the text and come up with some sort of summary for you. For example, right here, we've got the if conditional is automatically evaluated as an expression. You see that part is covered in this sentence right here. And that is a key aspect to summarize on. So yeah, this is a great way to reach out to a website, save you the time of reading the entire page, maybe ask Claude to just summarize it or pull out some key details. And so now I wanna show you how you can set this up if you don't have this tool available. So to do this here, first up, you'll need to point at the fetch server. I've got a copy of that pulled down from the official repo here out on GitHub. It's model context protocol slash servers. However, in my case, there's a change I want to make to it. So I'm actually going to grab a different copy of this. This is my own repo here, G0T4 MCP servers, because I've made a change to it. So I pass that path then to the UV command here to basically run the Python package that's associated with that project. And I specify I want the fetch server to be run. So that is the fetch server here that I've added. Once I set this up here, then inside of Claude here, you can see in the tooling, I now have the fetch tool available. And now before I restart Claude here to use my copy of this, I want to show you why I bothered to make a clone of the repo and make a slight change to it. And that is, if I come out to GitHub here, if I come back to a different page here. That one's got too much on it. Let's see. This one too long. Now this is rather long, but it'll suffice to show you that this is a really long page here. If I ask for the same thing here, so if I ask to summarize a really long page here, watch what happens. So I'll be prompted the first time. And I'll just allow once so you can see this here. So the very first time it reads the entire page, pulls out the text, but then it's only going to give Claude back the first 5,000 characters. And so if you want to get more of that page, hopefully the model then goes out and fetches the next chunk of that page here. And in this case, you can see it just skipped over the rest of the page. So if I look in the output here of the tool response here, there should be a length down at the bottom if it was truncated. Yeah, you can see right here at the end of the page in the text, it just says, the content was truncated, but in this case, the model didn't even care to look at that. So if I wanted it to pull more information, I might have to tell it, can you pull more of the page? And hopefully it can see that 5,000 number, use that to then ask for basically the next page of this page, so a subset. So it's got the first 5,000 characters. It'll now make a request for the next 5,000. So it'll start at character 5,000 through 10,000, and then 10 to 15, et cetera. You can see it's prompting me now here. And if I expand this out, you can see the start index is now 5,000, which is where it left off. Go ahead and allow that once here. That'll grab the next 5,000 characters, which is the default length. All right, and now it's asking again here to start at 10,000 and grab the next five after that. I find it interesting that there is a parameter for how much you can grab. You can override the 5,000 and say like 50,000. Thus far, I have never seen the cloud model actually suggest using a tool in that way. So it's almost like it's trained not to grab too much content, which would make sense actually. All right, so now it grabs the next two chunks. However, I believe if I expand this out here, if I really wanted the entire page to be summarized, sorry for it jumping around here as it's working. There you go. You can see here after the third request, there's still more content to pick up at 15,000 to get more of it. So I find that kind of annoying. In my opinion, if I ask to summarize a page, I've already looked at the page to figure out if it's reasonable to ask for it to be summarized. And so what I've done is I've just overridden that default of 5,000 characters in my repo here. And so I actually need to clone this down to my machine here. So this is my fork of the various servers here, including the fetch server. I change into that directory here. All right, so now if I look at all of my branches, I've got one called Wes Mods Latest here. All right, so if I check that out here, you can see the very last commit came from me here. These are the Wes defaults. And if I dump out the contents of that, you can see I bumped up the 
5,000 default here to 50,000 here, which should be fine. I haven't used this long enough to see if this is a hassle, but I think if I get past 50,000 characters, I'll readdress the default here. I look at the path here. You can see this is my repo right here. That's what I then put into my Claude configuration file. So now when I restart Claude, it'll use this version instead here, instead of source fetch. So I'll make sure I save that configuration file. By the way, if you're curious where that's at here, this is the directory on a Mac. It's in app support and it's at Claude desktop config. All right, so now if I come over here and I kill off Claude, launch Claude again here, unless I made a mistake here, it should show the same tools available. It says two, okay, it's got three now. So there's fetch right there, it started up my tool. If I really wanna confirm it's using mine here, I could do a pgrep, could do a pgrep here on MCP server, see if it's using, yep, it's got a node process here. Well, it's got a UV process here, started up with that directory in my repository. It's running the MCP server fetch, all right. So now, so now if I take that same page here and ask for the same thing, paste that in here. This time when I run this, it should only make one request. I guess it could maybe make a second one if there's more than 50,000 characters, but we should be able to see here really quick if the default is used. So here's the request to the same page. Allow once here so we can see if it asks again. All right, so that completed. And if I look at the tool output while it's spewing some summary at me, expand this out here, way down at the bottom. Ooh, it's a long one. Do, 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 holy cow. <laughs> okay, this is scrolling within scrolling is always fun. Yeah, all right, so down at the bottom of this, there's nothing about the content being truncated. So I think we got it all in one go here. So yeah, that's how I like to use the fetch tool and that's how you can set it up. You can also set it up if you want here. You don't have to use a checkout actually. If you come out to github.com slash model context protocol, repositories, look for the servers repo. Inside of here, there's a source directory. You'll find here's the fetch server. And inside of here, you'll see some explanation about how to use this. And notably right here, you can see using UVX. So here's the config that you can add into that clog configuration file here. If you don't want to use the local checkout, you could just paste this in instead here. It's so not could use this instead of the above. And then this would be using the official Python package for MCP server fetch out on pypy.org instead of a local checkout.